Hello, I'm Ingrid Marin from Universitari Hospital German Strias y Pujol from Badalona, Spain, and I'm going to explain how to perform a Barostat study. Barostat study measures the tone and compliance of the hollow organs. In the, in the specific case of gastric Barostat, it measures the tone and compliance of the stomach. In addition, the Barostat study can be used to demonstrate reflex responses to intestinal stimuli as duodenal nutrient infusion or meals. In addition, the Barostat can be used to produce gastric stimulation in sensitivity studies. In this case, the tensostat, which is a development of a Barostat, can apply gastric distension at fixed tension. The Barostat measures changes of the gastric tone as isobaric volume changes. A bag is introduced into the stomach and connected via double tube to a pressure sensor and air, an air infusion aspiration pump. Hence, when the stomach relaxes, pressure into the bag decreases and the pump infuses air to maintain the fixed predetermined pressure. On the contrary, when the stomach contracts, the intragastric pressure increases and the pump aspirates air to keep the pressure constant. Here you can see the double lumen tube and the back connected. The tube is connected to the pressure sensor and the other one to the balloon pump. We ask the barostat to maintain pressure to 4 mm of mercury. And now we build a stomach with our hands. As you can see, when we open the hands, the barostat infuses air to keep pressure constant and when we contract our hands, the barostat aspirates air. Hence, we can register the change in tone of our hands as volume variations at constant pressure recorded by the barostat. Now I will demonstrate the preparation of the barostat back for intubation. We need to fold the back accurately to facilitate intubation. Then we introduce the back through the mouth and protecting the vomiting reflex by leading the tube to the lateral side of froth using our fingers. Once the back is positioned, the subject is are asked to lie to the right side so that the fundus is not compressed and the tone can be registered. When the back is in position, it is important to unfold the back. Here is an in vitro demonstration of unfolding the back by infusion of 300 ml of air. Finally, I show you an example of typical protocol of a Barostat study. First, a basal tone recording is performed, then after, progressive distension until the discomfort is reached to assess perception. After that, an intervention, like a test medication, can be performed, and a new sensitivity test protocol is done.